Hi guys, Tom McPartland here from uh, High Performance Programming. Just um, going to go through a few bits in regards to Open Workout 15.4, um, which is an ascending ladder of uh, handstand push-ups and power cleans. Um, slightly different, they've changed the game up this year in terms of putting in handstand push-ups and in terms of the standards of handstand push-ups. Um, obviously, uh, you need to check out the uh, standards video and definitely, definitely have a look at that in detail uh, in regards to the handstand push-ups, uh, in regards to the tape that they're asking you to put up and the measurements that need to be made there. Uh, and I'll discuss how that affects our handstand push-ups uh, further on in the video. Uh, we'll start off just discussing um, how to warm up for this workout. Um, it, it's an aerobic CP workout, um, quite a grinding piece depending on how good your handstand push-ups are. Um, and also depend on your power clean and how strong you are in regards to that. Uh, we're recommending that we start off with a light aerobic piece, um, cyclical in nature, so rowing. Um, that's quite similar to the, to the power clean movement or air dine. Um, and we want to go for just sort of 15 to 20 minutes at around 80 to 85%. Just get breathing, get warm. Um, and then you can start to pick that up at, at the end for the last five minutes just so you, you are properly warmed through. Um, and then we just want to do some dynamic warm-up stuff, some lunges, uh, maybe some push-ups. Um, just start to get the blood flowing. We're then going to do some mobility uh, if we need it. Uh, some people are blessed with awesome mobility and can get away without doing any. Um, if the front rack position or your overhead position isn't perfect, this is the time to do a little bit of mobility and open your shoulders up. Um, or your hamstrings if getting in down into that power clean is an issue. Um, so the main focus here are going to be front rack position, um, overhead position for the handstand push-ups, and um, our hamstrings if we or, or sort of um, uh, ankles if we're struggling to get into that power clean setup position, and also the T-spine. I would say everyone should do a little bit of T-spine stuff, uh, whether that's dynamic stuff or um, you have your own stretches. There's loads of videos out there in regards to that. Once we've done that, we're going to sort of start warming up the movements, the power cleans. Um, I wouldn't suggest going any heavier than the workout weight, really. Um, work work up to that. If for you that is really heavy, then this is really important that we get that system potentiated. If for you 85 kilos isn't heavy at all and it's sort of like an all day long thing for you, um, then just sort of work up to it, um, do a few reps uh, and get comfortable with the movement. Likewise with the handstand push-ups as well. Um, this is your time, well, Beforehand, we should have measured out the tape for the handstand push-ups and be set up and ready to go for that. Uh, this is the time to practice with that. I would suggest doing um, practice before your workout, uh, before you start warming up. Um, so if you're doing the workout on, say, Saturday, today you should be practicing those handstand push-ups against the uh, wall. Just a couple of reps so you're used to how that feels because it is going to be different. Uh, it's a different standard than we're all used to. Um, once we've warmed up the movements... Uh, we're going to go into a higher end aerobic piece, and this can be some intervals on the air dine of the rower again. Um, say 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, you can play around with that as, as you wish. Um, and you just want to get breathing. So 30 seconds at a pretty tough effort, 30 seconds nice and easy, maybe three times through. And then we can work it into the movement. So maybe uh, a circuit three times through, two to three times of 30 seconds air dine three power cleans at the working weight, three handstand push-ups, rest 90 seconds. Um, so you're getting used to how it feels to be breathing, um, to do the power cleans and go into the handstand push-ups and vice versa. And you get an idea of how it's going to feel if you haven't tested the workout yet. Um, moving on to the specific movements and pacing. Um, I think the power cleans, for most people, we want to start off with singles. Um, if you've got a very, very strong power clean, you could go touch and go from the start. Um, I would suggest singles. If a power clean is heavy for you, you're going to have to go for singles. This workout um, isn't going to be about the power cleans. It's going to be about the handstand push-ups. Um, that's where the reps are. There's loads of handstand push-ups and nowhere near as many power cleans. Um, so I would just work through the power cleans. It's not going to be particularly um, gassy, I wouldn't have thought, for most people. Um the power cleans really should be your rest period, in my opinion. Um, unless, as I said, you're particularly um, weak at power cleans, in which case it will become uh, the challenging piece. Um, so we'll go nice and steady with those. Singles to start with. 
um, and you should set yourself pace so it's up, straight down, up, straight down. Uh, you shouldn't really be having to have loads of rest there. Your rest can be between the handstand push-ups, uh, the sets there. Um, so for the handstand push-ups, um, the biggest thing is the new standard. Uh, that tape, um, as you saw in the opening, um, the opening video, the announcement show, uh, Josh Bridges struggled. For some reason, he went with strict handstand push-ups. I would definitely, definitely recommend that you don't go with strict handstand push-ups. Even if you're a handstand push-up ninja, go with kipping handstand push-ups. Um, you will last longer in the handstand push-ups, and they are the crux of this workout. Um, with that, you need to make sure you practice with the tape um, and be strict with yourself on the standards. I guarantee if you're looking to go to regionals and you've recorded every workout, this will be the one the most likely the video is called forward. And it's the one with the most scope for messing up on the handstand push-ups. Um, there'll be a big difference between people who um, aren't strict on the handstand push-up setup and the people who are strict. And, and I think there could be some variations in the scores there. Um, so be aware of those standards, practice them, and um, make sure those heels are going above that tape. Um, in regards to that, you need to mark where your hands are. So practice the handstand push-ups where you're comfortably getting the heels over. Put chalk on the floor or tape on the floor. Um, chalk your hands up and slap on the floor, whatever it is. Mark where your hands are so that when you're tired in that seventh minute, you're not missing reps just because your hands are out of place. If your hands are a bit wider, you're going to um, not get the heels over. You need to be at full uh, the sort of full full extension. Uh, for the handstand push-ups, don't burn out. That's the biggest thing. Rest and break them up before you need to. If you go to failure on a set, you are going to have to wait ages to sort of regenerate that energy. Um, so on the handstand push-ups, if you've got a max unbroken set of 20, normally you need to take that number down because the hand position is going to be slightly different um, and you need to be breaking it up before that. <clears throat> so you go to that sort of that one where you know it's feeling a little bit tough. That's when you need to drop down, not that one where you actually gr you're grinding to physically finish the rep. Um, you've left it too late at that point, unless it's in the last minute or so, in which case it's just balls to the wall. Um, and all you need to do for handstand push-ups, um, you can either rest on your head like you saw Scott, Scott Panchik doing. You just take the weight out of your hands slightly if you're very confident with that. Obviously, be aware of the risk to the neck when you're doing that. Um, or you just kick down, shake your hands off, and go again. That takes three to four seconds, okay, if you're strict with yourself, um, just to sort of stop that um, build up in the forearms and shoulders, uh, not the forearms, the shoulders, um, and going to failure. Uh, so, yeah, don't burn out. Take your time at the bottom. You saw Scott Panchik um, in the announcement workout just really taking his time through the handstand push-ups. He almost had a second's rest at the bottom of each handstand push-up and did like a double drive of his legs. Um, there's no need to rush this workout. Eight minutes seems like a short time. I guarantee you those handstand push-ups, eight minutes will seem like it's going on forever. Um, don't rush them, even from the start. Just nice, smooth, controlled reps. Take a second at the bottom um, and uh, it's all hips in the handstand push-ups as well. You've got to focus on hips because at some point your shoulders will... Uh, reach muscular failure so really focus on the hips what video yourself beforehand and just look to see if you're pressing before your hips open if you are you need to delay that press out um, so that you're minimizing the work that the triceps and shoulders do um, to be honest really with this workout it's not that complex it comes down to how good you are at handstand push-ups and how smart you are in the workout. Um, no matter how good you are, if you go to failure on that, on that sort of like first four minutes, you're gonna struggle. Um, if you're really good at handstand push-ups and you're someone who goes wide, you need to make sure you practice the standard. That's gonna be the biggest thing here. Um, and be smart with that. Just go slow at the, at the beginning. This isn't gonna be a gassy um, sort of real burnout workout. It's gonna be one where people are grinding through it in the last few minutes. Um, and where some people will just reach muscular failure too earlier, too early, and um, struggle to continue. Um, in terms of any other advice for the workout, pace it as I've repeatedly said. Um, make sure the standards are, are something you're comfortable with, and um, we'll go from there. In terms of repeating the workout. If you're someone who's going to be getting into the 21s or the 18s, you're doing an absolute load of handstand push-ups. So be aware, if you're not used to that volume of handstand push-ups, you might struggle to recover. But if you're doing 
one attempt on Friday and then one again on Monday and you're good with the volume, that's probably something you, you can do. Um, but I'd say doing them one the day after the other or just with one day in between, um, especially if your uh, muscular endurance isn't that great or you struggle to recover from high volume pressing, um, just be aware of that. You're going to be doing a lot of that. It's not the power clean that's going to leave you tired and fatigued. It'll be those uh, handstand push-ups. Uh, it's a lot of reps. Um, that's it. Take care. Good luck. Um, if you want any more information uh, about personalized programming or any more detail on this workout, uh, give us an email at info at highperformanceprogramming.com. Cheers.